everyone welcome back to my channel so I'm back and this time I'm gonna be doing another Christmas tutorial this is gonna be my third uh, Christmas tutorial and like I said on my previous videos I just want to give you ideas um, so let me just show you what I'm gonna use uh, for this I'm gonna use creative shop 97 and this is one of the newest plates um, and I will swatch this for you guys in the pop sticks um, this is the image that I am going to use for this uh, Manny and I will show you. I already uh, did some reverse stamping with the image and this, this image right here is already dry and then ready for me to use. Um, like I said, you can use anything that looks pretty similar to this. Uh, now if you have Creative Shop plate and then that's great. Uh, for my base, I got this uh, cats and this is gel polish and this is the uh, 30C and basically that's what I have on my nails I cures um, under the LED lamp for 30 seconds and it's very easy to apply I really like this another thing that I'm gonna be using for this Manny is this Born Pretty Store gold um, glittery flaky um, it's really pretty. Um, I got this of AliExpress. Um, you can buy it in different uh, places. You know, you can buy it off the um, in the Born Pretty Store website too. And it comes with three different ones: um, the gold, the green, and the red. The other two I will use them for a different, you know, for a different video, different many. But for this, um, we're gonna be using this one right here. And look at that, that is beautiful. Okay, let me show you the product number for this. Um, 41019, all right. And what I'm gonna do, since I already have my uh, reverse stamping done, I did it last night. I do have, I did record a little clip um, short video when I was doing this I might put this on this video I don't know I gotta think about it <laughs> we'll see um also um for my Cindy hand I did the same thing and I just did some some of that gold glitter and it looks pretty nice but this is gonna be different I am wearing some peel off base under and uh, what I'm gonna do before I get started with this, I'm going to get some of this um, Wet n Wild Clear Polish. And I'm just going to apply some of that on my reverse stamping. And while I'm doing the rest, I'm going to let this dry so I can stick it on my nail. So let me go ahead and do this. Alright, so I'm gonna let this dry, but not completely because I want it I want it to be a little bit tacky so it will stick to my nail. Um and then let me just show you again how pretty that is. Alright. So let's get started with the rest of the stuff.
guys so I already applied the the gold flakies and I as you guys saw I actually rubbed the flakies on the nail and I did twice I did it twice because I want this nails to look completely gold um, I did make a mess and I don't really care it looks beautiful <laughs> um, the reason why I'm not trying to clean this is because um, I don't want this to dry completely and I think it's almost dry completely which I don't want that to happen because I want this to stick to my nail so let's give it a try and hope for the best oh yeah that is beautiful all right not bad um, so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it um, the second one because if I don't it's gonna dry and then it's not gonna stick to my nail and this is then it will be bad I need it to stick to my nail okay and the reason why I needed it to be like completely gold was because I'm gonna apply this and I wanted it to look very nice. I didn't want to see none of that reddish. It's kind of like a burgundy reddish color. And it's really pretty. I really like it. Let's see. Oh yeah. Not bad. Alright. So once you apply your decals, um, you can use some acetone. And let me just get a brush, cleaning brush. And you're gonna use your acetone to kind of melt the polish. And what this is gonna do is gonna help the decal stick to your nail. So this is a good thing to do. It's kind of messy, but hey, it looks really pretty. I really don't mind the mess when my end result is gonna be beautiful. Alright, so as you guys can see, um, these nails look so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of the nails and I'm gonna add some glitter on top of these two and I'll be right back to talk to you guys You guys so I just want to show you guys the final result I already clean up um, you know my cuticles they were so messy it looks so yucky but look at this this is so pretty um, I think um, 
I want to add maybe some rhinestones right here on the middle of the flowers. Just to, you know. I don't know. I feel like it's missing something. Maybe it's just on the big flower. I don't know. And again, I'm just going to use this really pretty rhinestones that I have that I have um, that I bought from Aliexpress and now uh, we'll leave all the information for you guys on the description box let's see come on I think that looks I don't know I think that looks a little bit better what do you guys think but I think I'm only gonna um, add one rhinestone so it won't be too much. <laughs> okay. And again, I'm just gonna add an, uh, another coat of this uh, Your Sugar No Wipe um, top coat. And I, I'm really liking this top coat. It works so well. And it's pretty cheap. And it does a great job. I should have just used the glue to put the rhinestone, but instead I just put some of that um, top coat. Um, I'm gonna stick it on the lamp for 30 seconds. While that's curing, um, another thing that I want to do on this video, I want to, I want to show you the rest of the plate so I will put the re um, the swatches on a pop stick for you guys so you guys can see how pretty this plate it is this plate is <laughs> what's going on with me I've been sick so if you if you think my voice is kind of weird that's the reason <coughs> I still wanted to make this video because I want to make a bunch of Christmas um many tutorials just you know like I said just to give you guys some ideas <laughs> so for this I'm gonna be using this awesome stamper <laughs> I mean I got a bunch of uh, pretty good stampers um, but for some reason I'm, right now I'm really liking this and this stamper is from Aliexpress I will leave a link for you guys for this one too um, now there's the pink and the blue one, so whichever link I find first is the one that I'm going to put for you guys. Because I don't feel like spending the rest of the night looking for links. So, let's get started. And... Uh, one thing I gotta sh tell you, uh, Creative Shop um, plates are etched pretty deeply, so the etching is pretty good. So a lot of times when you pick up your image, uh, you gotta give the polish a little bit of time before you actually place it on your nail or on the pop stick, otherwise it's gonna look all smush. Um, just keep that in mind. And I'm almost running out of my favorite um, stamping polish. I do have more bottles, but I'm running out of this one. I love this flower. And why is my camera acting crazy? It stamps really well. So I will do the rest of the images and I'll be back to talk to you guys.
Okay, so I wanted to show you something. Um, the plate works really well. Um, I really like the image on Creative Shop images, but I wanted to show you this image right here in this one. This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. The etching is so deep, deep. I'm <laughs> sorry that um, you pick up a lot of polish um, and stamping it on your nail or, or on the pop stick is just gonna smush the image so I want to try um, these image for you again so you guys can see what I'm talking about because um, that's the first thing that I talk about and it seems like I forget right away that I'm not supposed to do that and um, yeah that is usually the problem so what I want to do I want to do this again and so I'm gonna pick up the image and I'm just gonna blow a little bit on it and I'm not gonna stamp it right away and then I'm gonna try to roll instead of pressing down and I want to show you guys the difference between those two pop sticks where did I put the other pop stick? Oh, it's right here. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. You guys see the difference between the two pop sticks? Now, I want to do the other one um, just so you guys see again. So, if you have the money and if you get a chance to get some of these Creative Shop um, plates, uh, you, sh you guys should do that because these are awesome plates same thing um, I'm just gonna blow on it okay and I'm just gonna roll and where did I put the other oh yeah right here so you guys see the difference it looks so ugly on over here but it looks fine on this pop stick right here so yeah that's the only thing um with some plates that, that they have like deep etching and you just got to learn how to use them um now if you're doing a uh, reverse stamping all you have to do is pick up the image since you don't have to stamp it anywhere you're just gonna let it dry and then start coloring so you don't you're not gonna have that problem other than that i love creative shop um I really like doing reverse stamping with Creative Shop uh, plates, so I think this is that's all for this um, Christmas tutorial. Hope you guys like it, and if you did, well, can you guys give me a big thumbs up? And if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe because I'm gonna be doing some more um, Christmas tutorials for you guys. And um, yeah, and this is my Cindy hand. I try to keep them shorter because. Uh, you know, I got a lot of stuff to do at home and I don't want to end up with a broken nail. I'd rather keep them short for now. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this Manny. It's really pretty. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.